Forget about these certifications and save your money. With my over decade of certified IT knowledge, lock in with me and follow this course that I'm putting together. Whether you're learning ethical hacking or trying to level up your cybersecurity skills, these commands in this video will definitely help you out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> First, type RUN in the search, or you can hit the Windows key plus R, then type CMD into this window and click enter. And that's your first method to launch Windows Command Prompt. Now let's take a little bit deeper and look at a more powerful way to launch it in this next method. All right, for the second method, type CMD and then right click and select run as administrator. First thing you'll notice is your prompt change. That's because you pretty much have God mode access now. Let's go ahead and take a look at our third and final method. This would be your most basic method. Just go to the search bar, type CMD and hit enter. This will also launch command prompt all these different methods will get the job done. Just find what's comfortable and works for you. And then just be aware of the other options that you do have. Now you're all set to run some command. Type D-I-R and hit enter. So instead of the GUI, the command line allows you to go through the same files and folders the same way, but through the command line instead of through the GUI. For example, if you wanna to navigate to the desktop, you would type the command CD for change directory, and then you would put the specified path mine looks like this yours would be different and then you hit enter now you're at the desktop again to be able to list the files in this desktop we use the command dir here there's a file listed as secret.txt let's go ahead and delete it with the command del and then the name of the file how about if you want to create a, your own folder you can use the command mkdir for make directory and then name your folder we'll call this one hacking lab and now we have that folder. If we want to see it, again, just use DIR. And right there, you can see our hacking lab folder. Let's go ahead and remove this folder though. And we'll use the command RMDIR for remove directory. And then the name of the directory or folder, which is hacking lab. Now we can verify that it's removed with that DIR command as well. And we can confirm it too. I just wanted to take a pause for the cause and just show you that you're doing the same thing when you're moving through the file system in the command line, as well as in the GUI. It's nothing different than that. Don't be scared of it if you are. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Once you learn one thing in the command line, you can do it in the GUI and vice versa. But as with anything in life, if you're gonna get good at something, you're gonna have to practice it. So I put together a quick little challenge for us to go over together the commands that we just learned to help refresh our memory. MKDIR was one of those commands and that created a folder. And we also use CD to change directories if we wanted to change directories to that folder. Now let's practice navigating to that folder, creating a secret file, verifying it, and then deleting that secret file as well as the entire folder. All right, now let's look at our first network command, which shows us our IP address and connection details, which is IP config. Netstat-ano reveals all active connections on your system. These connection details list ports that might be listening or open that are on your system. I was today years old when I found out ports 137 and 138 belong to NetBIOS. There are also common protocol or port numbers I meant like 443 or 80 for HTTP. Let's check out our last network command. ipconfig forward slash display DNS exposes sites you visited even in cognito mode. Go ahead and play around with this and other commands that I showed you and figure out what's going on on your own system. I even had to blur the output because I'm learning this command just like you are. All right, so your system runs hundreds of hidden processes at all times. To list them all, just type task list. Let's look at a specific example notepad.exe. To make it easier to focus on the specific process, we can use a command to extract specific content from the command by using the built-in utility find str. Now we can see that we only have one process listed in the output of our command. Not all processes are safe, and this is where the malware hides. Let's assume our notepad file is a piece of malware, and we think it's a sketchy process running. Here's how to eliminate in one command. Use the command tab kill forward slash I am and then whatever your process name mine was notepad.exe and then forward slash F 
and then enter. And boom, just like that, it's gone. Pause and check your task list right now if you're following along. Let me know in the comments if you found any kind of sketchy process. If you want control over a system, you need to understand user privileges. Type net user to see a list of all the local accounts for every user on the machine. Now this next command is net user and then you're gonna put whatever username you wanna create um, and then forward slash active and then colon and then yes. This command is supposed to create a hidden admin account for you to have escalated privileges whenever you log in. And as you can see, the command completed successfully. And if I run net user again from command prompt and in administrator mode, I should be able to see this hidden account, but it's nowhere to be found. So this is how I learned studying cybersecurity because I'm gonna have to research how to put a hidden account onto a Windows machine via the command prompt in administrator mode. Now to delete this hidden account, I should just have to use the same command, but instead of putting active colon yes, I'd put active colon no. And as you can see again in my output, it's not giving me any kind of results that's referring to any kind of hidden account. Again, this is where I'm gonna have to do the research. Let me know in the comments if you have any good links or any information on setting that up. Let's take a look at another command which will show us profile information. Again, we're gonna use that built-in utility of find str, and then we will just search for a specific name in the profile or a specific word which will be built in so that we can see that this is the built-in administrator account for this Windows machine. Let's look at another user, which is the user I'm logged in as, as N-E-T-W-O, and let's look at their profile. This command gives you the results of just basic information about the user, what group memberships they have, password, when was it last set, and all of that, as you can see username and just basic details this command reveals all the vital information about the account like whether the account is active when the user last logged in and if there are any restrictions pay close attention to the last log on and account active status this is especially useful for understanding the account's current state and activity and that gives you a start on how to basically quickly assess a user account status with just one command. Again, these are not the only commands. There are other commands that you could research like who am I? My goal is to just show you how powerful the command prompt can really be and how useful it can be for you. All right, now for a bonus piece of content, let's go over creating a folder in God mode, which I seen online and never really tried. So let me walk you through it and show you what I found out. First, right click on your desktop, select new folder and rename it with the name God mode and the rest of that text. That's it. Now your folder will look something like this with a control panel icon. All you have to do is double click it and open it. This unlocks over 200 hidden system tools instantly and all in one place. You're probably thinking by now, so what? How is this useful for me? Well, check out some of these examples so that you can set up your command prompt like I am as a real professional hacker. For example, remember running command prompt as an administrator to give you full control of the PC? Well, if you right click and create a new shortcut, a new window will open. And if you type in CMD slash K and then name it whatever you want after clicking next, I'm gonna name this one skid box and then click finish. This will create a new shortcut. If you right click on that shortcut and then run it as administrator, it's gonna launch your command prompt as administrator. So all you have to do is use that shortcut and you have full control to your command prompt as an administrator now. Hopefully now you can see how God mode can be very useful and very powerful for you as a hacker. Watch this video again and as an exercise, set up God mode on your own machine and create shortcuts that will help you out. And that's just the beginning. Mastering all these different kind of Windows commands is just step one. You still have Linux commands that you have to master as well as just other different kind of command lines that you're gonna have to learn. But up for next week, I'm gonna be diving into one of my favorite topics, which is networking for hackers. This is not only an essential skill for an ethical hacker, 
It's also a fundamental of cybersecurity. If you're really excited to keep learning, make sure to turn on them notification bells so you don't miss any episode that I drop every week. I really wanna know what hacking tools or techniques that you wanna learn, so make sure to also drop that in the comments below. Make sure to check out my other videos as you continue along on your journey as well as my TikTok where I post other kind of content just like this. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on next week's video where I'm sharing more of this free hacking knowledge for you.